Also, let me pull up this tweet uh, from him. Uh, Cause he had some things to say about uh, kick streaming, how they encouraged uh, what he was doing and off of it, I guess. After well, he put out the DMs, kick streaming, I believe, and they told him to stop beefing with with real Ice Poseidon and Sam Pepper. They're they're totally cucked over there at kick. Totally cocked. Let me pull this up real quick if I can. Because he put this out. He's dropping some bombs on kick. All right, now also, so we're getting ready for the guest. We'll go back to. Uh, let's see here. Oh. So proof kick streaming, can you see this? Proof kick streaming and stake funded Johnny Somali's content and actions in Japan. Stake Eddie and ABC ABZ Kick donated and wrote in my chat often as well. They also recommended what countries I should visit. Video out on YouTube soon. Pirate Gang. So of course now they're trying to lie about it. Shock of shocks. Stake account, Johnny Somali deal, $1,000, 50 times, 1,500 withdrawals upon rollover completion, 1.5 hours of stake. Hey, can you make sure to decorate your channel with stake banners? Can you send your fill, fill once it has been done? We'll get it done right away. Thank you so much. Okay, the banner's been added. Added the link to the referral code as well. It's all about gambling over there, by the way. Looking good. Phil sent to vault. Might also want to have your chat box chat bot advertise your code by saying users will get five percent rake back. Will do. Thank you so much. I'll do my first stream tonight. And then here's Eddie who runs. I think he runs Kick. Right there in the chat. Appreciate you while he's doing his content over there. I think this was in Japan. So it's completely full of shit. All right, now let me. Okay, let's see. And I'll turn on video as well. Okay. All right, now. Yo, hello. What's up, man? Now, give me one second. Let me put you up on the screen. Uh, you John, good. What's John, up, brother? How are you? I'm doing great, man. How you doing? God bless America. I'm doing beautiful, brother. How are you? I'm doing great, man. I'm down in Mexico myself, actually, in the Yucatan Peninsula. So. I miss Mexico. I've been there three times. Mexico, Colombia, Brazil, those are my spots, bro. That's where oh, I go shit. chill down when I don't do YouTube. Dude, yeah, Mexico is sick, man. I love it here, uh, actually. Uh, so, yeah, I've gotten along great uh, in the Yucatan, uh, Cancun, Bacalar. I've been all over the place here. Uh, so, yeah, man, where I, you bar I've only been to the white tourist spots. Like, I've been to, like, Puerto <laughs> Penasco, Cancun. I, like, I stay where yeah, the yeah. cartel on. I stay, I stay, I stay where the drinks are free with the white bitches. All right. That's where I stay. I don't really go. I got friends that go to Mexico City, Guadalajara, shit like this. I'm yeah, like, yeah. Listen, brother, I'll stay in the all paid resort, the all expenses paid. That's where I'll stay. Yeah, yeah, those are pretty based. I gotta say, uh, you know, the way I be behaving, nigga, it's better for me to stay in the protected area. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I live in Merida, uh, and it's actually the safest uh, spot in Mexico. Uh, so, uh, maybe yeah, I'll maybe I'll pull up. We'll build a friendship relationship. Maybe I'll pull up to Mexico. I'll call yeah. you. I'll do a live there. Do a lot of people have been asking me to do live in Mexico. Why not? One hundred percent. I live in, I live in Arizona. I live in Arizona. Mexico's right there. Yeah, dude, I'm down. One hundred percent, I'm down. Uh, now tell us first off, introduce yourself just a little bit uh, to the audience. Tell us where you're broadcasting from. I'm broadcasting from Tel Aviv, Israel. My name is Johnny Somali. I'm the most hated. I've been declared the most evil streamer of 2023. Arguably one of the most viral breakout stars in streaming in the last year. Daniel Larson um, stands. I started five. streaming in June of 2023 in Thailand. I went to Japan. I went super viral in one night. Did 40 million views on Twitter. And I just kept the ball rolling. I kept the ball rolling since. I feel like the Howard Stern of streaming. I feel like the Kanye West of streaming. I feel like people love to hate me and love to hate watch me. You can look me up on YouTube and Google. I have over 100 million views just in the last 10 months on documentaries and commentary videos about myself. 
And now for the first time, I'm really speaking out, controlling my image and really doing interviews and uploading actually to my YouTube channel. I'm live now on my YouTube. You guys want to check this out on my angle. Um, I'm really taking things serious. And ever since this kick situation, um, I've decided to move to YouTube and rumble and I've been, it's been doing great so far. And I'm happy to, I'm happy to be on platforms that at least allow freedom of speech. Yeah. That's I'm, what I fight for, brother. I'm here on rumble uh, and they let us do pr pretty much whatever we want. So yeah. Chris, don't make a deal. If you want the next speed in Kaisen, that I'm about to do no jumper podcast this summer. And they oh, already sick. told me like, privately, they're like, bro, you're the next, you're the next Kai. You're the next speed. You're the next Aiden Ross. The Macrobian menace, uh, is what I heard. Uh, oh, was it? Famous Somali in the world. The thing is, Rob, let me tell you this. I got every streamer talking about me. It, I've been in every streamer's mouth in the last two weeks. Asmin Gold, I Show Speed, Aiden Ross, XQC, Hasanabi, Eddie. When Eddie, Eddie Craven streams, he talks about me. And Trainwreck streams, he talks about me. It's like these motherfuckers cannot get enough of me because they know that my name's hot in the algorithm. My name's hot in the YouTube shit. So that's why I moved to YouTube. I don't got no algorithm on kick. I ain't got no algorithm. I got the algorithm on YouTube. So I'm a YouTuber now, my nigga. Well, we have a show that feuds with us on Kick called the Kino Casino. I call them the Kosher Casino because of certain reasons. I won't get into the whole story here, but uh, they said you should be jailed uh, for your activities. Uh, and should be should be, should be jailed put away. For jailed for making content, jailed for walking around drunk and having fun and fucking bitches and taking drugs and having fun. Jailed for just showing life. Like what the fuck? That's it's just that's such an incel ass take. Like he needs to be jailed for streaming drunk and having fun around the world. Like what the fuck? All I do is show party and I like they can go look at my YouTube channel. My content the last fucking one, two months in Israel has just been bad bitches and party. What the fuck? It just sounds like niggas are jealous that a 22, 23 year old is traveling the world and spending a thousand dollars in the club live, enjoying life, going to a new country every couple of weeks. Well, that's bad what it model. is. They're basically it's professional like, haters. It's, like it's, incels. Yeah. it's a bunch of weebs. And Weebs and incels that's mad at me on the internet. They now, mad. Haas and I be keep talking about me because his viewership is, is cut in half. The nigga need content. Now what I'm about the content? Now I was gonna say, what about Japan? Like, what was your reaction of the Japanese people? Bro, I'm on? in a, I'm I'm in the house of a Japanese man right now. For one real? of my one of my partners, my business partner and editor is Japanese. I'm connected with them like this. I'm connected with the yakuza and the mafia like this. The Japanese love me. What you don't understand, guys, is because because the people that's fighting for the Japanese and saying I did evil shit are white people, white knight gaijins, people trying to defend Japan like Japanese people can't defend themselves. 50% of the Japanese people actually like me. They see me as like a fucking Kevin Hart figure in Japan. They see me as like, yo, our society is so robotic and fucking uh, just controlled. And this fucking little black kid just came here and just shook the whole island. Like, what the fuck? How did he do that? It makes me want to crash out. And even when I was in the interrogation room with the detectives, what they were mad about at me for, they said that Somali, we're not mad that you played music in a restaurant. That was what I got charged with. And I got right. held for 110 days. It's crazy. Because my JBL, cause, listen, listen, listen. How, how crazy is this? That's that's a G7 Nation cent. locked up an uh, American citizen. People make bullshit like PewDiePie just called his ass out because they said I got arrested for trespassing. That charge was dropped because I told the prosecutor straight up in the interview. I said, listen, I don't speak your language. I don't speak Japanese. If the sign said I can't go in, I can't read it. They dropped the charge. So, the, so they said, we got to find another case on this motherfucker because we got to save face. That's the Asian Japanese honor thing. Yo, we arrested a fucking famous American Meiwaku in Japanese. That means nuisance YouTuber. And right. what I didn't know, Ralph, was before I came to Japan, Japan was having a huge problem with YouTubers. Like you, they don't have no crime in Japan, Ralph. Imagine a country with no crime. <laughs> Yeah, it's very safe over there. Yeah. When I'm in jail, I'm watching the news. You know what the news is, Ralph? The number one top news? What? Let me tell you. A fucking baby black bear snuck into a mall. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the citizens put a chair and blocked it. Oh, my. That's the top news of the fucking week. So a fucking Somalian, <laughs> half Muslim, half Jewish kid comes on the train, starts screaming about history and atomic bombs and stop attacking World War II. He's running around slapping ass fucking pussy. Fighting police, going crazy, making a real life anime. This was the most news Japan has had since the fucking motherfuckers let off sarin gas in like 1980. These niggas have never had no. I, I literally made the summer lit for them. And now I'm seeing so many Japanese people on Twitter since now I'm running for office, Ralph. I'm running for office really? in Japan, actually. No shit. Yes. Yes. I'm running for prime minister. And I'm, <laughs> actually, and I'm also running, I'm officially running for the mayor of Tokyo. And listen, if I win this election, it's a lot of Japanese in my comments now saying we're going to vote for you. <laughs> We're gonna vote because they're tired of their government. Their government is letting too many immigrants in and doing too much bullshit. And I was the poster child for the right wing of why you don't let immigrants in the country. 
And then now I'm saying, let's ban all the immigrants from Japan. I'm a right wing motherfucker. The Japanese are saying, let's take him. This now, motherfucker served his time. He's smart now. Now, let me ask you about PewDiePie, because he did defend me one time when I got banned off YouTube. Uh, but he said some things. What did you get banned off YouTube for? Uh, because I did a charity fundraiser where we ended up raising $27,000 for St. Jude, but we also had a Holocaust debate on the fundraiser, uh, and some other controversial stuff. Uh, and so they banned me for that after the wall street journal wrote an article about it on their front page. Uh, and so I, I, hate, I hate, I do hate when social media companies do that. Cause that's, that's the same way kick operates. And I just released a video on my YouTube. I yeah. Somali got almost at 20,000 subscribers. I just started this YouTube page. I think by the end of the year, I'll be at 100K, 200K plus I, by, by far. If I just keep continuing, you see my quality, nigga. I don't play about this shit. This is like a Tarantino movie. The way my mic and camera look, I don't play this games. Right. Yeah. I'm a and, YouTuber now. But yeah, my they, thing is this. Go ahead. I hate how companies do this. Kick, this is what Kick does. Kick's dirty as fuck, by the way. They ban me too. Kick fuck them. Operate. Kick operate. Fuck Kick. Hold up. Let me tell you how Kick operate. Kick operates like this. The moment you go viral on Twitter and X or X, whatever you want to call it, that's when they ban you. If you do some dirty shit and they don't go trending, I don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. They love it. They love it. Eddie donated to me, the billionaire owner of Steak and Kick. He donated and watched my streams. My viewer, he's my fan. This is a billionaire sitting. He owns he owns 10 houses on the richest street of all of Australia. He sits there with a thousand inch fucking TV paying a hundred criminals to do crime all across the world and just sits there like Megamind, like an evil fucking villain. Like, what the fuck is this about? This is a criminal organization at this point. It's the Rico case. They paying me to promote gambling. They go crash out in Japan and Thailand, all over the world. Go cause news articles. But then when they're done with you, they rinse you out like a used rag and throw you away and say, we don't know this nigga. Even though under the table in Telegram, we paying that nigga crypto. We're giving that nigga Ethereum under the table to keep going. We're telling him what country to go to. We're telling him what to do. We're telling him who, who to beef with, what streamers he can beef with, what streamers he can't beef with. They told me, yo, if you want to keep your money and your steak deal and your kick deal going, you got to stop talking about Ice Poseidon. You got to stop talking about Sam Pepper. What kind of North Korean ass fucking website is that? YouTube can never tell you I can't beef with Ralph. You know what I mean? Right. No, YouTube, they don't, Ralph, they don't, come on, Ralph. They YouTube, don't do that Google's Rumble either. Never yeah. Me or telegram me, WhatsApp me some unprofessional shit, telegram, and be like, yo, you, you want to keep your money? Stop talking about Ralph. He's, he, he got a deal just like you. You can beef with the other websites. Don't beef with our niggas that are on contracts. What the fuck? This shit running like North Korea. Now they're controlling what I can say. Now they did that with you, with you, with Ice Poseidon and Sam Pepper, right? They told they you to stop. If you keep beefing with Ice Poseidon and Sam Pepper, we're going to take your kick deal and your steak deal. I put the messages on yeah, Twitter. I, saw it. I just read them out. Yeah. I don't know if you can pull them up on the screen. I think you should while we're talking about this. We got all the evidence. I put a thread on Twitter today. Yeah. We're exposing this whole fucking website. The stake staff is telling me you these people have a deal. Corn just like you. Beef with Twitch streamers. Leave our contracted employees alone. What kind of communist North Korean country or uh, fucking company is this? Well, I've been saying it for a while, dude. They play favorites. Uh, and they, they favorites, Bro, listen, they banned me for two weeks for saying this, Ralph. They said this is promoting violent behavior. I said if a stream sniper ever attacked me in America, I would defend myself with the Second Amendment. That is two weeks ban for inciting violence. What the fuck? Yeah, and by the way, there's the, 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 the tweets right, right there. Let me put the fuck up. There are the, there are the uh, tweets right there, by the way. Um, let, me the fuck up. let me see if you can pull them up and, and narrate it. I'll be quiet and then we'll continue. No, that's fine. I, uh, let me, let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and pull them up. We can right. go for an hour. We can okay, talk about bet. Let's do it. Okay. All right. We go a little bit longer then. My audience liking it too. I'm live on YouTube right now too. Guys, Johnny Somali. I'm almost at 20K subs on my new YouTube. I'm a YouTuber now. Guys, fuck with me on YouTube. Let's go, Ralph. Let's so, try to fuck up tonight. So this you is... Got, you can probably take with you tonight. You got John... You don't have Johnny Somali. You have Jonathan Somali. That's why. <laughs> All right. Now let's go. Now let me... Let me, let me pull this up on screen because I'm trying to... Um, get this uh set up here uh now let's see if that will yeah okay your stream is still running we pause this preview no don't pause the preview uh okay now let me that should make it a little bit bigger there uh on stream uh now let me see if i can pull this up uh i don't know why it uh pauses the preview but uh i'll just read these out anyway uh steak account johnny somali deal one camera and just read it. Fuck it. Yeah, that, that's what that's what I think too. You got it now. I see it. 
Yeah, you see it. Out. All right, let me read it. Uh, now, uh, stake account. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to have to read it off here. Uh, let me pull my glasses off so I can read it off here. Stake account. <laughs> stake account. Yeah, I'm a little, yeah. Well, it's, it's really small. Uh, anyway, right. uh, yeah, stake yeah. account, Johnny Somali uh, deal, 1,050x. Uh, 1500 withdrawable upon rollover completion, 1.5 hours of stake, four hours of non gambling uh, channel. Uh, look, 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 let's get out. Hold on, let's pause. Okay. That means they're paying me to do four hours a day, 20 hours a week streaming in Japan. Right. They are paying me. A requirement for you to keep this deal is to continue your actions, your harassment, or whatever they want to call it, your terrorization, your fucking crazy ass running around the city of the whole country island japan drunk you are required for 20 hours to do that a week and, and you are incentivized it. With, you are incentivized with bitcoin payments weekly to continue this and subs from the owner of kick and the mods of kick you're saying continue. they're basically a criminal they, organization they, they, they me with money to get a 22 year old put in jail for three four months and then when i get out they acted like I, they didn't know I got on a call with ABZ, number two, head of partnerships at Kick, the one that hands out the 500K, the 1 million, the KCIP deals. I call him on the phone. You know the first thing he asked me? What? He says, Somali, are you Muslim? What the fuck are you guys asking me about my, my religion about? He's like, are you Muslim, brother? Like, aren't you worried about your family, your mom, your dad, your siblings? Like, um, we were very worried about you in the kick office. And our number one worry about you, Somali, is that you're going to hurt yourself on your stream or someone else is going to be hurt on your stream. I said, motherfucker, if you motherfuckers would have paid me my justice for bringing you guys millions of dollars in advertisement, I'm talking BBC, CNN, top of the fucking national news of multiple Asian countries from Indonesia to Thailand to Japan. I, the, the amount of promo I brought kick last year, I put them on the fucking map. They owe me at least 500K in Bitcoin just straight up when I got out of jail. You know what I mean? Yeah, no but they want to play with me. I thought I and I put the screenshots in my look at my DM. I I, I'm so close with the kick admins. When I was in Japan, I messaged these niggas, yo, unban me in a minute, in six minutes, unbanned. You can't do that with Twitch, right? You no. can't do that with YouTube. No, you can't message an admin, the number two in command of YouTube on Discord, and say, unban me, bro. And he say, hey, just be careful talking about that other streamer, Ice Poseidon. And I got you. Just be careful of that nigga. And you good. What the fuck type of website is this? Some Just because Eddie, the owner, the owner has been a fanboy from the RuneScape days of Ice Poseidon. This motherfucker, Ice Poseidon, no, I, I'm not saying nothing against gays, but he just did a stream in Tokyo where he got a hand job from a man live on stream. <laughs> and the admin of Kick ABZ came and deleted the clips that niggas was clipping out just to save his ass before we went to Dex Erdo and fucking Sports Kita and all the fucking streamer fucking. Is that why he hasn't been streaming as much the last couple weeks? I, I heard uh, he took a little break. You know what, bro? He invited me to go to his Texas scavenger hunt. I said, motherfucker, I got too much money to be running around for some fucking white slave like plantation shit running around Texas in the heat. What the fuck you think I am, bro? I got I got almost as much money as you, bitch. The fuck? And I do this streaming shit, this YouTube shit, just because I need vengeance and revenge. I went to university. I got a bachelor's degree in finance. I got a lot of money in other businesses, other investments. I do YouTube just because I want to take over the world. I do this shit because I know how to get 100, 100, 500 million impressions in a year. Why not take advantage of it? My generation, uh -huh. I'm 23. This is the quickest way to become a millionaire. Using the social media bullshit, the streaming bullshit, YouTube bullshit, TikTok. This is the quickest way to become a multimillionaire. Easy. So why not take advantage of it? If I can manipulate these motherfuckers like the Matrix, like Black Mirror. I'm a fucking actor. I play different characters every day. I put a different costume. I play a different nigga. And these motherfuckers fall for it all over Twitter. How stupid are they? They getting rage baited crazy. They letting another Andrew Tate go up. You see how stupid they are, Ralph? It's happening live. Yeah, I was about to say. Um, now. Smiley, they letting a black Tate go up. Just because I just give a fuck and I'm not censored. <laughs> they keep making videos about me. Millions of views. Hasanab. I did this shit in Japan a year ago, nigga. Why is Hasanab be talking about it in 2024? A year later. And what why about PewDiePie? Like, uh, why is he talking about a year later? And the thing is, I, I defeated this nigga in the beef. Because I called him out crazy. And there's a tweet with 6 million views on Twitter calling this nigga out saying, wait, 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 you're a foreigner in Japan calling out another foreigner in Japan. Like, you're just a hypocrite, bro. And you and this motherfucker said the hard R N-word playing PUBG. Yeah. Motherfuckers did the fucking Christchurch mosque shooting in New Zealand, killed 100 Muslims plus, saying sub to PewDiePie. This motherfucker's lost contracts and deals for doing anti-Semitic remarks and jokes. Like, this motherfucker is a fucking joke. He's a fucking joke, dude.
Like yeah, now he tries to he's tried to clean up his and image. He wants basically. to clean up his image. Yeah, he yeah, wants yeah. to fucking be. You know what I mean, I I have a wife. I moved to Japan. I got a kid. Listen, Marzia, I'm I'm at, it's not a joke. I'm I'm actually <laughs> suing him. I'm in a Japanese man house right now. I have connections to the Yakuza mafia in Japan. I have a lot of people in Japan. I got multiple girlfriends and fiancés waiting for me to take their pussy and marry them in Japan for Japanese passport. I'm gonna sue this motherfucker in Swedish court, EU court. Japanese court, American court. I don't give a fuck. This motherfucker has $45 million. I'm going to take at least 10, 20% of that shit for defamation for calling me a terrorist. Well, isn't he a great example of a white guy from Japan who moralizes against streamers more than the Japanese people themselves? A, you know what they call him in Japan? They call him a gaijin. I mean, yes, gaijin. Foreigner. Yes. They look at him just how they look at me. If we do a poll today, even in Japanese account, there's a famous Japanese account with 7,000 followers on Twitter, at cancel Johnny S. This motherfucker got 7,000 followers just doxing me, right? And he's coming for PewDiePie now. The Japanese hate this motherfucker now. They said, you should have shut up because you got a pass too. I posted all of his articles. Uh, PewDiePie apologizes after his Twitter account is deleted for making ISIS jokes in 2016. PewDiePie promises to stop making anti-Semitic jokes. PewDiePie, you know what I mean? This motherfucker, he, he, he was an edgelord too at the beginning. And even that's what the fucking, that's what ABZ, the second in command of Kick, told me on the phone when I did that 50 minute call with him. When he quizzed me on my religion and all this shit, I'm like, what my religion matter for? And as soon as I go to Israel, it's funny, I start getting banned because you hold up. The co-founder of, of Kick is Muslim. All the top staff of uh -huh. Kick is Arab and Muslim. ABZ, the second in command of Kick Partnerships, is a fucking Iraqi. I'm not making any racist comments, but they have a bias against Israel. So their first streamer goes to Israel to do IRL. One of their most famous IRL streamer goes to Israel to do IRL, and he gets indefinitely banned. When Zerka got the same 30-day indefinitely ban, when Zerka, you know Zerka, Ralph? Yes, right? I do. Yes, I do. He's an open pedophile, an yes, open he Nazi. He's a piece of shit. He got banned indefinitely, the same 30-day indefinite ban as Johnny Somali. When I said, Ralph, you know what I did that got indefinitely banned from Kick? Indefinitely. I've gotten one of those too, and I'm still on one now, and now they won't let me back on. Can I tell you what I said? Yeah, you made a call and got it lifted. I said this. I said, guys, I think for hypothetically as a joke, I said, guys, why don't we join the Mexican cartel and go to Mexico for a stream? And definitely ban inside hate speech. What the fuck? When you got motherfuckers like Vitali. Claiming people are pedophiles without just due court process, saving people's heads, knocking out people. You got people crashing cars in California, fucking take over. You got Sweater God, another streamer, Aiden Ross's friend, putting guns in girls' mouth. You got people overdosing on kick. You got people doing fucking real crime on Shoot kick. People Shooting people on kick. Yeah. Shooting people on kick. But Somali makes a joke. One of your most famous streamers, the one that put their fucking name on the map, jokes about joining the CJNC, the Jalisco New Generation Cartel. He makes uh -huh. a joke. That he's gonna join the cartel and stream it and make a vice documentary. And I even said in the clip that they sent me, I said, I'm not even gonna do it on kick, I'm gonna do it on Rumble. Because kick won't allow it. Permaban. It's, fuck? it's fucking crazy. Uh, that's nah. a permaban. Nah, that's, that's a permaban. You said you're gonna join the cartel. Listen, in, in Japan, I got assaulted by Japanese citizens 10 times. Because I'm streaming, I never, even my Japanese friend right here, my editor that's with me, my, my, my business partner manager right here is Japanese. He's, I'm in his house right now in Israel. I got headquarters in Israel. I got headquarters in Amsterdam. I got I got a whole team. My community is large. My thing is this. The issue is kick even notices. That's why they gave me a kick deal. That's why they gave me a stick deal. Because they noticed my community is fucking, we're not the biggest, but we're fucking fervent. We're militant. My thing is this. I can't believe that they would use me like this to get all this free promo from all these fucking streamers and reactors and YouTubers and commenters and news organizations. And then once I get arrested, they want to use me like a dish towel and throw me the fuck away. They don't know who the fuck I am. They've done that to a lot of people, man. Uh, they brought in a bunch of IP2 streamers and tried to get them to boost their site. And then as soon as some hot shit pops off, which is what they brought them for there for in the first place, right? Get, get them out they of there, ban their channel. Right? Freedom of speech. They advertise yeah. that as freedom yes. of speech. 95 five you can say and do what you want you can have freedom of expression but no you have freedom of expression if you know eddie Next if you know abc if you know what the admins the mod think teams, of a you're friends with Aiden ross if you're friends with train wrecks xqc you can then do whatever you can the fuck you want yeah. if you got your own community that you built from scratch fuck you and fuck where you came from and how many streamers now aka like just like bruce drop them off how many streamers came and got the million two million dollar bag now from kick and said i'm going back to twitch go back to youtube scamming these motherfuckers
Playboy Cardi scam Aiden Ross and Eddie for a million five hundred k. Come on for thirty seconds. <laughs> yeah, they, like, they bring these rappers on. That's easy payday. I have a finance bachelor's degree. I can turn kick into the fucking number one streaming websites in two in fucking two weeks if they hire me. Mother, these motherfuckers are retarded. Now let me Steve, ask my you. Friend. No, you can say whatever you want on this show. Uh, now let me uh, ask you a couple questions here uh, from the super chat. It says Johnny, how did you get out of Israel after you placed a pic of Epstein on the whaling wall? That shit was am, crazy. Um, what did they end up doing to you? He said. All right, so so let's do Q and A. So actually, I'm still in Israel. I'm still in Tel Aviv. Actually, what's what's funny about that is I got arrested live on stream when I put Aiden Ross, Harvey Weinstein, and Jeffrey Epstein into the Wailing Wall. <laughs> what's crazy is that most that's the number one holy site in Israel. That's yeah, like going to the that's like going to the Muslim Kaaba in Saudi Arabia and putting the Osama bin Laden picture. In front of you. <laughs> that's like, you just did some shit that no other YouTuber and streamer would ever risk is like doing. So the police came and arrested me live on stream with M16s. I get thrown in an interrogation room and I have to get bailed out by my Israeli friend for like 1500, 1600 bucks. I got bailed out of jail. And then I got banned from Jerusalem for 15 days. The news articles say 50. I got banned from the most holy city in the world for 15 days. They said, your Somali ass cannot come back to this city of the Holy Land for 15 days because of this fucking bullshit. And they said, why did you put a pedophile in our most holy site in the world? An interrogator, a Muslim Arab interrogator. You know what I said? What? I said, only two, only one of them is a pedophile. Not Aiden Ross and Harvey Weinstein ain't a pedophile. You know what I told him? I said, I'm mentally ill. I'm anti bipolar. <laughs> I don't have my medication. You can't choose, you can't tell a Jew how he can worship. You can't tell me how to worship my God. I'm praying for these dead niggas. One of them's dead, one's in jail, one's on drugs. I'm praying for my Jewish brothers. You can't police my religious freedom. I said, I'm mentally ill. I don't know what's going on. And you know what's crazy? You know, Israeli police, they got these girls called the Magab. They're like the Border Patrol or the yeah, IDF. Yeah. You know these sexy young Israeli police Yeah, girls. yeah, and you whistled or you said something to one of them and they detained you. One's from Pennsylvania in the police station. I'm like, damn, girl, what's your name? I'm flirting with her ass the whole time while I'm in cuffs and shit like that. And the head nigga's like, stop talking to her. Stop talking to her. Stop. I told you stop talking to her. And you know what she said? She said, she started looking me up on YouTube. She find these commentary videos by Decoy Boys, Umbaville, and she's like, oh my God. She translated to the police. They're like, this nigga's just a troll YouTuber. He's a comedian. They let him, they let me go. They knew now, I'm let me ask you about this, though. I think it was the Jerusalem Post or one of the publications over there wrote a defamatory article about you saying you've been deported and arrested and all this stuff and you won't be allowed back into Israel. And all that ended up being completely false. Basically got smeared it's by the Israeli false. media. And we're suing them. Can you can you pull up? I don't know if you can pull it up right now. My lawyer is Gonen ben Zak. He's a famous lawyer, former Israeli FBI, Shin Bet, former Israeli FBI. My lawyer has 70,000 followers on Twitter. I looked him up. Gonen. I looked him up. Yeah, I'll pull him up, but it'll, I'll just keep you on the screen you for now. Up, but I pull, up the nigga Wikipedia. pull up the nigga Wikipedia and read it out to the audience. Who the fuck is my handler? I really got Jewish handlers. I'm I know. Yeah, my and I had my guy look him up too, and he's like, yeah, he's legit. Anytime I can, I can, this is my country just as much as America is, just as much as Ethiopia, Somalia, and America is. I got four countries, four nationalities. I can get four passports if I really want to. How many do you have now? I can't say about that on camera. <laughs> All right. I'm just saying, because no, that's, that's fair. That's fair. And you know, I crash out on my stream, so I got to be able to handle police. I'm in a different passport. I got the no. Italian. The Spain one, nigga. Which one you want, nigga? You ain't gonna get the U.S. one. No, <laughs> I feel you. That's the one I keep saying. <laughs> you feel me, nigga? Uh, but yeah, he's he's the super legit. I looked him up myself last night. He's, he's not. That's what I'm saying. So just pull up the wiki and just give these niggas one paragraph. They okay. gonna be shot. All right, give me this give me one second, and I'll do that. But first, let me ask: Would you would you box would you box Hassan? Somebody wanted me to ask you that. Without a doubt, let's go. All right, now let me pull up his his wiki. <laughs> You know, uh, want to box me. Mizzy, Mizzy want to box me, but Mizzy fell off, so I'm not trying to box that motherfucker. Uh, going in, Mizzy. Ben is is talk is talk. Uh, is yeah, read, read out for them. Yeah, who's uh, Johnny Samad, Read who he's famous for. Yeah, it says is is an Israeli lawyer, former Shin Bet coordinator and social activist, one of the former handlers of undercover informant Masab Hassan Youssef, the Green Prince is what he's called. Uh, he's one of the leading figures in the protest against Benjamin Netanyahu. Oh, nice. I don't like Netanyahu. Uh, and is among the founders of the anti-Netanyahu protest movement Crime Minister. Uh, and yeah, he's got a long, a long CV. Uh, a former FBI Israeli FBI Shin Bet operative is now handling a YouTuber's case and keeping a YouTuber in the country. Is that not crazy? It's I fucking wild. Right now. It's fucking Welcome wild, dude. The Black Mirror. 
<laughs> now, uh, how you did know, you? You know, it's funny. The Israeli yeah. government put that news article out. I was never taken to court. I was never charged for sexual harassment because I didn't do any sexual harassment. So how am I still in the country on a tourist visa? I'm innocent. I've been making videos in live every single day in Israel the last 30 days. Look at my YouTube channel. The fuck? Guys, follow me on YouTube. Johnny Simone owns at 20,000. Look at the 20,000 subs by the end of this month. Let's go. Now, how did you get started streaming in the first place? Were you ever on IP2? Nah, bro. I wasn't. I wasn't. The, the, I actually uploaded the video on my YouTube. It's fine. I hate plugging it so much, but I uploaded That's the fine, video. The moment, that, the moment that I became a streamer, I was in Thailand. I bumped into a kick streamer named Suspenders in like Pattaya, Thailand, the sex fat city where it's just, it's just, it's just a bunch of 60 year old white dudes just fucking like little, little tiny little Asian bitches. So I bump into this blue hair Smurf motherfucker. And I'm and he's like I'm like I'm making vlogs at that point with like my Sony camera that I'm talking yeah. to right now. I'm making at that point. I was like just a travel vlogger, and this motherfucker is like, "Yo, you should join Kick. You're gonna make bread. Like, you have a good personality. You're fucking just you're out of control. You have no censor. Like, you fuck bitches on camera. You popping this on camera. You you popping it off camera, but then you just on camera going crazy. Like, you are just too raw for this shit. You need you're gonna make money streaming. And he's right. He's right. I made over six figures." From taking his advice and starting streaming in less than nine months, eight months. So that's a pretty damn good run. Yeah. And sponsorships and fucking just subscriptions and TTS donations. What a lot of people don't even know, I made sixty thousand dollars in Japan just TTS and me. Sixty thousand US dollars. That's the first time I'm announcing. I made sixty thousand US dollars from just media saying ching chong ching chong ching chong ching with this fucking speaker right here. What the fuck is it? With this fucking shit, with a sixty dollar speaker, I made sixty thousand from having ten viewers, going to three thousand, five thousand average. Can you believe that? With a JBL speaker, sixty thousand fucking dollars. And the IRS knows I already paid my taxes, so he's not like motherfuckers gonna be like, they call the IRS. This speaker made me sixty thousand dollars in that three four month trip in Japan. Like, come on, dog. The fuck? It's fucking like, you wild. know what I mean? So I'm glad I took his advice, and that money's invested, put in real estate and crypto. I'm doing great. Life is good. You know what I mean? I no. already went to university. I got my bachelor's degree. So I can continue with this or go start a business, go do whatever I want to do. I just do fun. I do this shit because I hate these hypocrites. I hate these streamers that have been in the game for five, 10 years and think they run shit. These motherfuckers think they're gatekeepers of the game. Destiny. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Exactly. Yeah. I went on Destiny's Kick or Keep. Whoever said episode 29, I was on the final episode of Kick or Keep before that shit got canceled. I'm the only guest on Kick or Keep history with Destiny to ever be kicked off. Just because at the end of the episode, I won and I told that bitch ass motherfucker, I don't need your fucking thousand dollars. I ain't no fucking peasant. I'm rich, bitch. And then they kicked me off the fucking episode, nigga, after I won. <laughs> and after the whole chat voted that Somali killed these motherfuckers and won the whole goddamn shit, bro. Come on. <laughs> That's Come fucking on. amazing. I have to I say. The Somali, they're saying I'm the next Hampton Brandon. If you know IP2 and Ice, yeah, I, know this. I do. Like, I know Even scene. Sam Pepper called me on the phone. My second month streaming, Sam Pepper's calling me saying, bro, you the next Hampton Brandon. You too crazy. You're going to get banned off everything. You're going to end up in jail. He was right about the jail shit, but I'm not banned off any other platform. I'm a YouTuber now, nigga. YouTube fuck with me. Rumble fuck with me. I'm cool. Twitter oh, fuck yeah. with me. I'm good. You're, you're good. Yeah, you're good. Rumble's not going to fuck TikTok. with you for sure. I'm famous on TikTok. I'm fa bro, Ralph, do you know how famous I am on the Chinese internet? Forget American internet. The internet that we can't even connect to. You got to type in to get on their internet. We got it's, it's a great firewall, nigga. I, and China, I'm a star. You know how much China hate Japan? A lot, yeah. Because the Bruh, they Japanese did a lot of work around black the motherfucker went to Japan and shook the whole nation. This was more effective psyop than a missile. This nigga came and psychologically <laughs> destroyed the society and took over the six <laughs> months without putting a finger on anybody. Just fucking being alive with us with a beard. Amazing. What kind of power is that? That's a fucking agent. And people don't understand how many anonymous donators I have from China that just send me Bitcoin and Ethereum just because. Now, let me ask you this. What do you know about Aiden Ross? Uh, what, what, do you know any dirt secrets about Love him? Or? I don't know nothing dirty about him. The nigga likes me. He's my Does fan. He? He's, okay. my, he's my viewer. He's my fan. I ain't got nothing bad to say about him. All right, cool. He's my only chance of me getting on Band Off Kick, so I can't say shit. Okay, all right. Yeah, I don't want to <laughs> The only way I'm getting unbanned, him or Eddie. That's the only way. So hey, shout out to King Jew. I'm top. He's top three. I'm top four. Like it goes. It goes. It goes. Epstein, Weinstein, Aiden Ross, then Johnny Somali in the Jew category. Now there's. <laughs> <laughs> now there's a big uh controversy we've been covering. I don't know if you saw it with uh uh Nick Ricada and Aaron M. I fill me in on it. Fill me on like the basics and I'll give uh, you Oh basically opinion. there were these two married there, let's just talk about anything. There were these two married couples and allegedly they joined together uh in a 
uh, like joint relationship, uh, and they were having relations with each other's wives, et cetera. Uh, and this one guy lost his wife, um, to the other guy, uh, and his wife left him and so moved, two YouTubers moved in. Are, are, so you're saying two couple YouTubers, one guy fucks the other guy's wife. Well, they were allegedly both fucking each other's wife, but one guy lost his wife to the other guy. And, and he, whoa, whoa, whoa. So one dude walk away with two wives. Yeah, basically. That's a W nigga. I'm on that <laughs> nigga side. I didn't know anything else. Nothing else, Rob. Don't tell me anything else about the story. The nigga with the two well, wives, I'm on his side. Well, they raided his care. house and caught him with 20, 26 grams of cocaine the other day. That's um, a real nigga. That's a real nigga. I'm on that nigga side. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with 26? That's, that's too little. That's too little. That's what I heard a couple of people tell me that actually. Uh, all right. That's a bitch nigga, though. No, we got, yeah, the one who lost his wife's the bitch nigga. I think so too. Excuse my language. Yeah, exactly. Right I'm in the nigga with two wives in the AO, but I'm on YouTube, so be careful about what you're talking about. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Damn, cold words, cold words, nigga. Now, um, I, I see a super chat here. It says, uh, what does Mr. Somali think of a married man who lets another man, married man fuck his bitch while he cleans that? Yeah. The guy who lost his wife was actually doing the Look, chores I, around I, the I, house. I, I, he was, he was listen, doing the chores black, while, while his guy was running. His guy was getting ran as through. A, as a black man, I've fucked white men's wives while they've watched in the corner. I've been offered this when I'm in Medellin, Colombia. I had an American couple come up to me. And we're just having a random chill conversation in, in downtown Medellin, like Parqueras. And this couple comes up to me, and the and the wife tells me, "Hey, like by the way, we have threesomes." And I, I start giggling. I'm like, "What? What? Excuse me? Like we talking about a whole different thing? Like, what do you mean we have three? We have threesomes? Yeah, like come to our fucking apartment later. Like let's let's like let's do like a fucking threesome." And I went. The dude didn't touch me. He sat in the corner. I fucked his wife. And as a black man, these kind of opportunities come to you, and you take them. You take the opportunity when it arrives. You know. So I don't got nothing. I I can't blame a cup. I win as a black man. It, it, it's a it's a it's a category of porn. It's a fetish of white dudes. And but but he ended I up losing from. his wife. Uh, he ended up losing his wife uh, and all that. Lose his wife to a nigga like me. My <laughs> grandfather had nine wives. I'm trying to have ten. A nigga like me is thinking oh, it's how alpha male works. It's how it's, it's how the animal kingdom works. The nigga with the most money, the most cars, the most real estate, the most monopoly shit. He's gonna take your bitch. Instagram got your bitch, not you. Now, what do you think about uh, Israel overall? Your stay there, like, how's it, how's it been? Or what do you think about the, it's the, the greatest people? country in the world? They got some of the sexiest bitches in the world, and I'm with these niggas. They got all the money, so I'm with them. <laughs> Why would yeah, I join the losing team? Why would I join the losing team? Like, come on. You know, you're not worried about the Gaza stuff or anything like that. And, and now, and I've, I've denounced kick as anti Semitic. Somebody contact the ADL, the anti Semitic. Kick.com. Fuck y'all, motherfuckers. <laughs> no, they got kickstarts on there praising Hitler. Zerka, Zerka got the same indefinite ban for, for going on Omegle and Monkey and say, take, teaching little minor kids to say, Hail Hitler, seek hail. And he got unbanned. But Somali said he wants to join the cartel and he's not. Sweater God and Sam Bond, two streamers that are friends with Aiden Ross, they fucking went on stream and fucking celebrated Hitler's birthday. They got unbanned. And guess how much, Ralph? 48 hours, 24 hours. So anti-Semitic Hitler shit's allowed, but your your most famous one of your most famous IRL streamers goes to Israel, and definitely bad. Okay, funny. Seems a little bit politically charged. Mm. It's okay. I got a lot of funding from the. I got a lot of funding from the Chinese and the Jews. I'm doing great. I'm running this channel. I'm running this channel. I wish I can turn my camera on. I have a professional Japanese editor. My business partner right here. Now, what are what are your, some of your I mean, some of your next man's house right now? Look at the Look, look at this fancy ass shit. I'm in a Japanese man's house right now. You know it the connections nice. I got to the mafia? Yeah. Come on, brother. Now, what are your, some of your next plays? I don't know if you want to give away the, the game or anything, but... Uh... I'm, going to, I'm going to Los Angeles to do a 30-day, 24-7 live stream. I'm going to get a... I have a condo ready and already booked in uh, LA. I'm going to put the address out public to IP2, to YouTube, to everybody, to Rumble. Anybody could walk into my condo at any time in Los Angeles with anything and just bring content. We're just going to do a 30-day social experience like... Like Black Mirror, some fucking fish tank shit, but Somali tank. I'm do, I'm gonna kick it off with doing the no jump. I'm gonna kick it off with doing the no jumper interview with Adam. 20. Maybe do a porn scene with a Japanese girl and do some fucking World War II cosplay. Get the shit popping on Twitter, and then 30 days camera does not turn off with a cameraman live HD mic like this quality up Los Angeles and just crash the fuck out. Then I'm gonna do LA. I'm going to Austin to do some stand up, and then I'm doing to Miami, New York, and then I'm going to China, my nigga. Oh, dude, that's what I want to see, actually. I'm going to China, my nigga. After I finish my USA tour, I'm going to do LA, Austin, Miami, New York, Beijing, Shenzhen. Come on, my nigga. 
Shanghai. And I'm going to go collect my millions because I'm more famous on the Chinese. Brother Ralph, all your audience, you guys can do your homework. If you take my name and go search it on Chinese TikTok, go in, WeChat, Billy Billy. I have hundreds of thousands of likes on Chinese TikTok, Chinese YouTube, millions, billions. I have billions of views on Chinese YouTube. These motherfuckers are saying this is the king. How can we pay him? How can we send him money? How can we send him a loan to come to China? If I go to China, I'm just going to become a fucking black monkey, dance for the CCP, dance for the Chinese, and I can go make fucking five million and walk away with a. F and they don't even know what I'm saying right now. You guys don't understand the play. I don't need kit, nigga. I don't need YouTube. I'm going to join the Chinese internet. I'm going to start making videos like this. Man, look at the Chinese train station. America's ass, nigga. I'm going to make I'm going to have a Ferrari. Like, bro, like fucking Chris Brown, the fine Chinese. Uh, this the guy, Uncle Phil. Hey, I'll become the Chinese ambassador to America, nigga. I'll sell my soul for a check. I already sold my soul to these ones. You know who these are. You know this. You know who these are. Uh, it looks like uh, some diamonds there. Uh, some bling there. You know what that logo is. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's the Masonic logo, actually. Yeah. Somebody walked Pretty up to me. In Israel, I have a diamond it, ring, but it's not not quite as big as yours. Somebody, but somebody walked up to me in Israel, put that on my hand, and said, and walked away. No shit. Which I was bullshit. <laughs> I don't no. know what it means. Ever since then, I beef with PewDiePie. I became 10 times more in the And ever since I put this ring on, I became 10 times more famous. I peaked even bigger than Japan, bigger than the Israel arrest, bigger than the Japan arrest. I'm beefing with the biggest YouTuber to ever exist. The fuck? And I'm winning. The fuck? No. That's not normal for a nigga with 17,000 subscribers and, and 15,000 on cake. It is crazy just how viral it rising went. Star. That's a rising star. Aiden Ross mentioning me. Speed mentioning me. Hassan Avi mentioning me. Asmin go messaging me 10 times. Every streamer, Ludwig, every streamer, Ray Will and Doug, every YouTuber in the fucking world has talked about me. Every podcast, every fucking, like it's unbelievable. You, I have over 300, 400, 500 news articles in ten, nine months. And I was in jail for four months, Ralph. I didn't even get to enjoy my money and my fame. Now I'm really reaping the road. Now I'm really getting rich off this shit. Now, now I'm getting paid. I was in jail, remember? Yeah, I was they, in jail. Well, they said you were going to have to do what, five, 10 years or some shit. I was in prison from September 22nd to January 10th. Now, are you no access to are, no are access you allowed to back baby. into Japan? Yes. Wow. So, how was that? How'd you get out of that? Like, I had the U.S. Embassy and a paid lawyer. I lied to the judge. The lawyer said, "Lie <laughs> to the judge and apologize. Say that you're sorry, niggas. I don't give a f Chinese niggas. I, all I told these niggas, I said, I said, hey, yo, I'll never make a YouTube video again. I'll never again." I was selfish. I was streaming people in public and being disruptive. I played music at a restaurant. I'm so sorry. Oh, 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 I don't give a fuck about this shit. Shut the fuck up, you pussy ass nigga. Suck my dick. And I'll be back soon. And when I come back, it's going to be like Godzilla or tsunami coming back. <laughs> you, niggas close the border, you niggas better close the border because I'm coming back and I got a fucking fang. The issue, you know what Japanese people do? Japanese people start cults. I have a cult of Japanese women that are my sex slaves now. And they will do anything for me. In Fukuoka, in Osaka. In Chiba, in, S in Sendai, in Sapporo. I have a sex call in Japan ready to do anything, anything I want on command. So when I come back to Japan, oof, I'm going to come back a multimillionaire with 10, 20 Japanese bitches. Now, what were some of your... Party, and I'm running for office right now. Yeah, Mayor, Mayor of Tokyo, you said. I'm running for the Mayor of Tokyo, then I'm going to run for Prime Minister. Now, let I'm me... Serious. What were some of your... I believe you. I already filed the paperwork. I believe you, uh, but and what, if I went for office, they have to let me back in the country. No choice. It's the will of the people. It's the will of the Tokyo. Yeah, they have to let you back in then. Okay, no. many Japanese supporters that are saying we're voting for you, Somali. You're amazing. You're a trailblazer. Now, what were some of the craziest parts besides the jail? Uh, you maybe could talk about what that was like, but uh, craziest parts of your journey in Japan. Uh, the detectives telling me that they had to they, their job was to watch my kick account, and they loved when I said I had a BBC that I worked for Big Black Hawk News. They loved when I was street interviewing people drunk. They loved when I was trying to pick up girls on stream. That they loved when I met like different characters. Like I met a black man that's fucking like, he said, I can teach you how to be happy. Use this fucking rubber band and say, Janjare, Janjare, Janjare. Some random fucking Nigerian soccer. They just, they, these detectives were name dropping clips and saying, we love this shit when you're crawling around like a monkey. We love it, but we just got to do our job, bro. And the main detective investigating me, Toy Nagashin, bitch ass nigga, Osaka Manami Police Department, you call that <laughs> ass motherfucker my dick and he's watching my youtube because he is subscribed he told me 
So he, this motherfucker, fuck you. He put me in jail for three months, bitch. But hey, we can be friends when I come back. We'll share a beer. We'll drink in Osaka. We'll go to Izakaya. We'll say come by. And I'll be <laughs> multi And then maybe I'll fuck your wife. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But basically, this motherfucker basically told me Corn pop the that bad I'm targeting you because I hate YouTubers. I hate live streamers. And we're going to use your case. We're going to use you as a scapegoat to scare yeah. other YouTubers. Scare other live streamers to come to Japan. What you've done is not that criminal. You've only been charged with disturbing a business by a JBL speaker playing a TTS for 30 seconds in a restaurant. We're just going to use you as an example because you became so famous disrespecting our country. We're going to use an example to scare other YouTubers. And because the problem is it's not what you've done. You're influencing not only American and European YouTubers to come here, like Phidias, example, and all these other motherfuckers. You're in Ice Poseidon, blah, 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 whoever fucking CX, these, these fucking retail boys. You're influencing Japanese Meiwaku nuisance YouTubers to act crazy. There was a famous Japanese nuisance YouTuber named Rengoku Yagi who ran up on me and attacked me with his penis out. And, can't, and the fuck? He, YouTubers were, it's on my channel. Just, it's I was going to say, what the fuck? <laughs> Japanese YouTubers were going on the news. And oh, wait, wait, wait. It cut out right there. Your mic's clipping a little bit. Repeat what you just said, that last part. So I'm saying Japanese YouTubers were going on the news and saying, I'm the Japanese version of Japanese. So the police were yeah, so angry. They're like, bro, you're influencing our own people to act fucking psycho on camera for fame, for clout, for money. So their problem was the influence, Ralph. You get it? Johnny yeah. Somali, I had influence. I was like influencing Nelson the Mandela. culture. Yeah, you were changing the culture. I was influencing the culture because they're so tied up. They're so straight. They're so like, if it's a red light, we don't walk. Even if there's no cars walking. In America, we just go. We're not fucking Matrix robots. They're just controlled, controlled, controlled. So the, the super anarchist Japanese love me. And the super left-wing Japanese love me. They hate the government. They're like Somalis, a fucking Nelson Mandela, Che Guevara figure. And they want to vote for me now for office, which is fucking crazy. And I might win. Give it five, ten years of me fucking running. I might actually win some shit, nigga. I'm only 23. No, I see a question here. It says, what rituals did, did you have to do to get into the Masonic Lodge? Now, you said you were just I, handed uh, it. I did, have to, I did have to suck some foreskin, but let's not get deep into it. Next question. I'm on YouTube. Next question. All right, next question. Um... <laughs> what about the uh what you mentioned the japanese people like uh, i mean you you have your harems over there and all that but you don't seem too high on japan uh japanese society though as a whole uh society's bad so that's why i'm gonna have a bunch of half somali and half japanese motherfucking sons running around and dicking around the whole country and raising the birth rate we're gonna start a fucking the first black mafia family yakuza family there i'm already connected with the yakuza i'm gonna take over the whole country politically and fucking mafia now, can you run as a foreigner? I don't know the Japanese election laws. I mean, I, 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 have, I have lawyers. I got legal systems. I got bitches. All right, anyway, you, you cut out. Your mic cut out. Repeat that. Your mic cut out. I, I got everything filed. I got you bitches ready file. to give me. I got bitches ready to give me Japanese passport. I got Japanese lawyers, Japanese niggas in every city. I got everything. I got niggas in the government. That I'm good. Trust me. I'm gonna be. I'm a Japanese politician now. I'm an official candidate. Now, why do you think what what is like? What is it about you that's just struck a chord with people uh, and made you one of the most hated men on the internet? I don't know, and I don't give a fuck. But I'm gonna get rich off you. I don't care. Yeah, well, you can get very rich being being hated. Yes, I already made half a million dollars off this shit. It's been fucking nine months. So they've they've it's done. It's working out well. Yeah, it's working I out well. Half a million at twenty three, and I just turned on the camera last June. Amazing, and I have sixteen thousand subscribers. So that means when I when I get a million subscribers, I'll 10 million, 20 million. I've already made $500,000 with 16,000 YouTube subscribers and 15,000 on cake. That's disgusting money. For a 23-year-old, that's disgusting. Now, we did have some people asking about, uh, well, you know what, I'll ask you this question. Uh, it's a famous question from Killstream Lore. Uh, somebody sent it in one time and it kind of got to be part of the show. Uh, who would you rather meet uh, now they're both dead keep in mind but if they were alive and you had a chance to meet them who would you rather meet uh adolf hitler or prince the singer prince because me and that nigga would do drugs to get pussy to get. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, i'm dressed nigga. look i'm, I'm fucking prince you kind of got a prince vibe with the suit yeah i was gonna say, i was gonna say you kind of got to stop I'm metrosexual. I'm metrosexual as fuck <laughs> Now, how many Israeli bitches have you banged while you've been over there? Let's just say if they want, if they want to try to ban me out the country like they're trying to, and my thing against, I got a couple of seeds planted, so I'm good. I'm gonna get the passport either way. <laughs> I, got, I, got bitch, I got bitches taking me on first dates, picking me up in the car, bringing bottles of wine and three joints. I have an Ethiopian nigga fetish. 
I have an Ethiopian dick fetish. I already told my dad I'm going to marry an Ethiopian nigga. There's a lot of Ethiopian Jews here. There's some girls with some jungle fever all over the world. Trust me, this black dick, I've been slinging everywhere. I've been fucking raw in Thailand, Japan, Indonesia. I've been fucking raw here. I've been leaving my seat in every fucking country. And when the bitches have kids, they ain't going to find me, nigga. I'm going to be jetting out to the next place. <laughs> yeah, I'm going like to that type of luck. Uh, like a, real, a real black dad does. Like a real black dad does. <laughs> my grandpa had nine wives, nigga, and 16 kids. That nigga dead. He died of the fucking Chinese Kung Fu virus. So that nigga's watching me from heaven being like, hey, my little grand nigga, he got my little grandson. He died in his 10 wives, at least. I already got him planned out. Ralph, I'm going to have a couple Eastern Europeans, a couple Colombians, a couple Israelis, a couple Japanese. I'm going to have a whole maybe fucking Mex sex Maybe Mexicans? You know, I'm here in Mexico. Maybe. I, 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 the Colombians and the Brazilians. But I'll take a Mexican if she bad. I love Mexico. <laughs> hey, you love Mexico. My, hey, I'll take any bitch if the pussy wet. I, I, I call my Mexican bitch. <laughs> Yeah. I had a Mexican. Bitch. I used to call. I had a Mexican bitch back in Arizona. I used to call her Chata because it was so wet. So <laughs> look, I'm gonna have more than ten wives, and it's gonna be a great future for me. And I can't wait. I can't wait. My wedding's gonna be live on YouTube. Might as well stream it. Uh, I, I, I mean, it's my, it's my generation. Why not? Why not stream? It? Yeah, uh, why not make money? I, I I agree with it. Um, life is good, bro. I just started streaming. Shit. Yeah, I, I, I appreciate you coming my, by here. My, by the way, I didn't know that you. Me, you hit me up chill i said why not come and talk i'm doing another interview on sunday with uh someone else on kick this shit is just going crazy i'm doing no jumper this summer 30 day live stream in la johnny somali i'm an enigma how the fuck do you pop up like this in the streaming world and you take over your streamer the biggest streamers in the world are all talking about you they can't keep their name out your mouth i don't talk about nobody they just talk about me all of them that's what i say even this show that like fucks with us that really i wouldn't expect to even you know care about you but they're trying to use your name for clicks right because you're so viral right now uh and they're saying they, this guy should be put in jail they should have kept him in jail in japan level of google trends like tate and trump fuck yeah they're they're using you for money basically um and hating play a hating i guess you could say uh, talk to you all. it's been a great yeah interview. man and i appreciate you plug your stuff oh wait there's one more question that's coming in i'll, I'll get that in five dollars on real, rumble. Real quick. Why not? we need at least a dozen uh, more and johnny please, somali shout out my rumble Israel. my rumble yeah. i'm on rumble too at johnny somali on rumble guys let's go i'm all on right, rumble too you want to see me crash i don't go crazy shout out my rumble yeah, rumble johnny great somali. dude somali. i'm on i'm on both i'm on rumble and youtube They'll let you roll however hard you want. Well, if it's only you, killing you. The, the, yeah. owner, the owner, the CEO of Rumble, Chris Pavlovsky, shout out Chris. He actually fucking retweeted my tweet, liked my tweet when I said I'm moving over to Rumble. Even some of the top kick staff, Santa Maria, some bullshit piece of shit. One of the top kick admins was like, yo, we heard Johnny Somali move to Rumble. He's very happy. I am. Thank you. I yeah, can say dude. whatever the fuck I want. I can get away great. with more on YouTube than I can get away with on fucking kick, which is fucking crazy. That is but insane. You, oh, oh yeah, yeah, let me ask you just, just two questions real quick. If that's, if that's okay, I know you gave me a little extra time. Um, it says... Bro, uh, I, I, I usually charge 1000 to 2000 I know, I know, I know, I know. Just if you, can, if you can. If you can, if you can. I don't want to keep you too long if you can't. But, I love you, Rob. I love uh, you, my nigga. Uh, we need... At, <laughs> oh, it's not a question. It's a comment. It says, we need at least a dozen more Johnny Somalis in Israel now, is what it said. Wait, say you love me back for it, though. I love Johnny Somali. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you coming on the show. Listen, continue the question. They need 12 more Johnny Somalis. Don't worry. I'm going to pop out of fucking kids over here. We're going to have fucking 17 of them. So next question. Next next comment. Uh, now, let me know. see. Uh, I think I think that was it. I thought it was a double, but it was just a single there. Right, so it. I love you. Thank Ralph. you, brother. Thank you so much. Time. Love you too, man. And good luck. Stay out of trouble. Don't, get, don't go too hard. I got, I got this cut up on my YouTube, guys. Subscribe to my YouTube at Johnny Somali. My rumble, Johnny Somali. I'm the next up. Listen, I'm the next uh, 100K, 50K average streamer, and you guys are going to see me really tear up the whole world. I'm going to L.A. soon to do a 30-day subathon, 30-day, 24-7. The cameras don't turn off like the fucking fish tank. I'm going to do No Jumper podcast this summer. He's going to see Somali, Somali Tate. Somali Takeover, Nick. It's Somali right, Summer. Thank you, brother. It's Somali Summer, just like last year. So I took over. Ralph, admit, I took over the internet last summer. You did. Who ran the fucking, who ran fucking the internet and streaming last summer? Who? It was Johnny Somali. He's going to do it again. Another run this. Bro, if I go to Colombia, if I go to Mexico, if I go to L.A., Woo. dude i'm waiting on what you got cooking next uh and thank you so much for being gracious with your time uh and giving me the freebie I here you, this is, you, yeah, you yeah. got a 2000 interview yeah. for free my man i appreciate you man i appreciate you i'm wishing you the best i love you my nigga peace out peace love out you too man stay safe somali here live on the kill stream thank you for watching this clip by colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!